All right, guys. Welcome back to the Y'all Y'all Show. Today we got a special guest, and we got a lot of hogs in the trap. We've been here before, but we're still catching more. But look here, this is my man Melvin Brown. How from, are you, sir? From Texas. Done drove all the way to Texas to come hang out and uh, trap hogs. We fed pigs yesterday, and we caught hogs today. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I am too. I'm happy about it. So any which way, since we got a special guest, we're gonna have special duties for you. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and Pig Dragon's one of them. Ah, oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, well, let's load on the ranger, get down there, and get these hogs taken care of, and then we, the, the fun really begins. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> drive on. All right. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Let me go this way. <laughs> All the way. Hey, I promise. I promise it gets better. <laughs> I'm going to get some. Get his head knocker out of here and some shells, and we'll be real. Oh, I left my window down. I got it. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Got a whole box. Thanks to another y'all, y'all fans, and a whole box of ammo. Hmm. Oh. I had somebody buy me some butt flap. And I ain't put them on yet, so our pigs may get a little muddy for us over here. Get up here and then we're just gonna walk up here. Keep it calm. Yeah, maybe they'll stay a little more calm. I don't know the ones me and David got on not too long ago, like knocked my teeth out when we walked up there. Oh, they was fun. They're mad. <laughs> that trap. Right around this corner, about 50 yards. Okay. So we're just gonna walk up here and see. Let's go get her. I'm gonna grab me a handful of these. Just in case we have a hard hit one. You got that? You need me towed or anything? Not really. Oh, man. Mr. Melvin, you, you're in the Army, right? You're yeah. a Vietnam vet, right? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, he, he talks about coming and hanging with me, but, I mean, it's an honor. I just want you to know it's an honor, you know, because for, for what you did for our country. Because, hey, people like you, listen, people like you allow people like me to be a goober and, and go out here and just do the things that, that we should be able to do and not have to worry about, you know, the little things. So I really appreciate I sure it. appreciate this guy. He's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I'm proud of what I did. Yeah. yeah. You know, but like I said, I, I'm not disappointed having done it twice. I just wouldn't do it a third time. Right, 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 right. I just felt lucky I made it out the second year. Right. Yeah. Well, God has a plan for all of us. Yeah, wonderful. You good? You good? Sliding on my feet. Hey, David. You can smell it, can't you? Recording. Yeah. You can really smell it. Smells like fun to me. Well, I think we got a pretty good load here, don't you think? Boy, that's a nasty looking boy right there. Yeah. Nasty. I got that 
that he got that evil look to it. I'm gonna get it. Here you go. <laughs> Made me jump. <laughs> hey man, this is what I want. <laughs> Drove all the way. How, how far from te how far in Texas are you from here? Uh, about 500 miles. 500 miles? Yeah. So you drove here just hoping to get a chance. How many people is going to follow up on this now? <laughs> yeah. <I'm a> <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get crowded now. You drove all the way from Texas. Uh, you got to, or you left at nighttime. Sir? When did you leave? You, you left at night time? I or? left at 5 o'clock in the evening and showed up here at 3 o'clock and sat out in front of a place waiting for him to show up. <laughs> and then in it, hopes it, that I'd get to see him. And they called, and uh, they called me at 6 o'clock or so a little after, and uh, I just come down there and meet you. And next thing I know, we feeding pigs, and now here we are catching pigs. So, uh, yeah. I appreciate you coming. I'm glad they came in. <laughs> well, I'm definitely I'm glad. I'll tell you what. You were supposed to leave last night, though, weren't you? Yes, I was. You're and then to leave you called last... me, and I said, oh, man, I can't believe it. The good Lord has blessed me on this trip. Oh, yeah. It's my pleasure. And every piece of mud that gets on me is yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Because <laughs> you're going to get some. <laughs> we'll let him get a little. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you just want a picture. <laughs> All right, well. I don't know how many we got in there, Mr. Melvin, but it's a bunch. <laughs> He's like, yeah, throw it up on the camera. Yeah. Throw it up on the camera. It's on the lid. What am I doing? All right. That'll be good. One, okay. yeah. <laughs> I can't hold myself up. Oh, there's throwing mud everywhere. He just talked like this is kind of a highlight for his his trip. You know, I'm just glad we could we could catch some for him, man. I, oh, yeah, man. glad you come. I think sometimes we we forget how we can be an inspiration to people, you know, and, and come out and you know be able to do this with people, especially somebody of his statue in my eyes, you know, being a Vietnam vet and everything. So, oh, I just can't thank you enough, you know. I know this is, I'm just taking you pig trapping, and here it is, you, you, you hey. fought for our country, you know, just old pig trapper, but, uh, but anyway, I say we get to knocking some down, and uh, get them piled up, and then we'll give them a break, get them all dispatched, and then uh, we can get to dragging and talking or whatever else goes on, so. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so, said he got his hog shirt on, look at that, 173rd Airborne. That's what I'm talking about right there. We'll get some pictures for that for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let's get to knocking the pigs. You want me to do it? Or you want to do it? You want the first pig? You want me to get the first pig? What? Open it? Yeah. It don't matter to me. <laughs> he said it don't matter to him. I don't think we just got to get that big hog knocked down. And once all we right. get him knocked down, yeah. it's uh. Knock yourself out. Everybody, everybody. I'm along for the ride and the enjoyment of it. <laughs> right, right, and right. And I am definitely doing that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sure appreciate it, man. Oh, mm. man, I followed this man on television like you'd almost think I was stalking him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish my wife would stalk me. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. From, I, from uh, what I see on camera. You're yeah. a lucky man. I know. Yeah, I had to pray. I had to pray hard. You know, God, I want a woman that's pretty and not too loud and can drag a few pigs. And loves you. And yeah, I, well, I mean, yeah, that no, helps. No fair. <laughs> <laughs> but I really needed hey. that pig dragger. <laughs> you gotta be equally yoked. That's it. That's it. You gotta, that's it. Let's get some pigs knocked down before my feet get stuck in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you do that a few times. That's right. <laughs> mm 
Now they all want to look the other way. Uh, they're looking for a place. Yeah, so this group, this group was coming in a couple nights, and uh, or coming in the first night actually, and then we dropped last night. But on camera, my buddy's got a camera, and he's been showing that we had about 20 hogs here. So. I'm gonna reload here. Got a bunch of little ones left, so get a chance for those big ones kind of. How many things in there? I thought it was 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Eight big ones. I make 16 piglets. 16 piglets. And eight Maybe grown. Wrong. Ain't grown. My dad uh, was an avid deer hunter and he liked rabbit hunting yeah. with beagle dogs. That was that was that's what I kinda grew up around. That's I didn't get into to hog uh, hunting and trapping till two years ago when a friend of mine took me and I enjoyed it so much that I went to hunting first and then I started buying trap materials yeah. and, and started trapping them and then I started watching David there on YouTube and <coughs> look at him and I ran out of bullets over there I'd go back for more you know I, I had this I had this different picture of David. I thought he was like, well, he's just a down-to-earth guy. He is, yeah. And I, I hope everybody knows that. Like, he, he is exactly like he is on camera as he is off. In our in our little small town, too, I mean, everybody loves him. I mean, he's just a he's just a, a good old boy from Mississippi. I mean. That's it. <laughs> Makes me want to move to Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm serious. Makes yeah. me want to move to Mississippi. Well, I'll tell you what drew me to him. The fact that he's a strong Christian man. He's a true Christian. You, yep. you can feel yep. the presence of God in him. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I had a few problems is why I came down. Yeah. The man listened to everything I had to say. Yeah. Yep. Was it worth two thousand dollars worth of therapy? Yeah, you're right. Sometimes, sometimes you need it. Sometimes you gotta talk to people like that. And and uh, I'm glad. I'm so glad that it worked out. That he was here. And I, th I I truly believe. I think the Lord brings people in your life for a reason. Well, I can't believe I got lucky though. But I tell you what, I think God had a hand in it. Yep. I really do. I couldn't agree with you more. No. Uh, he works in special ways. See, I've got <clears throat> a heaven call. Let me put it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I got I, six to eighteen months. Yeah. Yeah. And this was a, a honey. A, no, not a honey do. I, my wife's been passed away for two years. Bucket list. Yeah. Bucket list. This was this was priority on my bucket list. Yeah. Man. Because I really enjoy hog trapping. I, I don't do it professionally. I don't make a dime out of it. I just enjoy doing it. Now, I'd make a dime out of it if I thought I could. Yeah. Don't, I, I come to hope maybe to do this and get yeah. filmed with him. But mainly I came for spiritual inspiration. Yeah. I draw my strength not only from God, but from other people that God has touched and is strong in their life, then I get inspiration for that. Hey, <clears throat> me and David's, the age that he is, it gives me a, a better outlook on life. Yeah. Gives me faith in the world still, which by I don't believe is going to last too much longer. That's why I'm not worried about, you know. Like I yeah. told David, I said, if I was afraid to die, then I wouldn't have faith in God. Yeah. Faith in God gives you the courage to not worry about it and go on. Yeah. I mean, you can say that 
or you can live that. I'm glad that you know you're a Christian man that, that believes in that and has faith. That, that, There's uh, not an aspect of my life that Jesus or God has not been in it and protected me in one way or the other. I'm still here after two years of Vietnam. So right. I figure, and not only that, I'm 73, fixing to be next month. So I'm 73. Any day over 70 is gravy. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. you've been a, you've become a great friend, and uh, you know it's 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 home. And I told my wife yesterday, I'm not gonna lie to you. I went home and I cried. It is, I'm sorry, but no, 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 it's not. I mean, you know, I lost my mom in January, and it's real hard. But it's also humbling, and not that I don't want to say this with an ego, but for somebody to have something that they wanted to do in life, and that was to involve me in it. As far as meeting me and you took a leap of faith of just getting in the truck and driving of all the weekends I'm, I'm booked every weekend from here on out the next you know 8 10 12 weeks I wasn't gonna be in town and, and, and God put you in a vehicle come to the one place that I eat every day the one day that I actually got up early enough to go feed pigs because I had to be somewhere and get that phone call two minutes before I'm fixing to leave my driveway and then I wasn't gonna be home the rest of the day God had his hand in it. We had it. And 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 what did we talk about yesterday? Excuse me. Go ahead. If you don't believe in the power of prayer, pow. I'm telling you. It's it we talked yesterday about your situation and you were kinda like I don't know if you were looking for something from me or or, or I was but I just I went home to my wife, I said, You came here maybe looking for something spiritually, something a fellowship, but I said I think God sent you to remind me of things, of how I get caught up in sponsors in life and trying to make the next video and, 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 and trying to, to do this and that. And it humbled me to say, you know what? We only got so much time on, on this earth. Let's be the best people we can be while we're here. Meet and treat everybody as Jesus would. And yeah. it's hard because we live in a life, a world of, of hatred and sin and, and, and things that go on that ourselves don't agree with. And I believe God sent you to help me as well as you may think that I'm trying, that I may have helped you in some form or fashion. But I well, just appreciate it, maybe buddy. he did it for both of that's us. That's right. That's right. And I, I believe that. So I would just tell people, man, you know, I can't go and do this with everybody. I tell everybody, I'll tell them, I can't do it. But you just came, and it worked out, and 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 I'm so, I'm forever grateful, and I'll be thinking. Oh man, and look, I am. And I'm gonna tell you something. Even though, like you said, we had that faith. This is only a stepping stone. We talked about your wife passing, and, and other. There's coming a time. We get a new body, we get a new home, and we get to be with our family again. So, brother, like I said, man may have gave us a timestamp, but God has the final say so in anything. And, and this earth is only a stepping stone to get to the glory of God. So, brother. It's the time in between. That's right. And we need to be the best person we can be during that time. And, trip, brother, I'm a head knocker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, I, I know. I ain't the best person in the world. Right. But what I am is I'm forgiven. Facts. Facts. And they can't take that away from me. don't matter. I get told all the time, you know, that what the first thing that you get struck when you stand up for yourself or you, you're trying to be bold, they say, well, you're a fake, fake Christian. No. There's a time you got to stand up for yourself, or there's a time you just got to let it wash off your back like water on a duck. Yes, sir, and there's times when the devil will get in there and fight with you and say, see, you ain't strong enough. Then you got to go, Lord, help. That's right. That's, that's right. And I always, that's why I speak Jesus' name. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't no preacher. You know, I can speak a little bit, but what I tell you yesterday, the devil got me right here every day. And if I don't speak Jesus, he'll have me by the throat before it's over with. And that's, you know, so... Um, well, it has strengthened my faith. It has mentally just highlighted my life. Right. You may have added some months to my life. Right. And even if you don't, well, I'm looking forward to you, Lord. That's right. Well, I could definitely tell you, you added spiritual and and feeling, I guess I want to say the, the feeling part of it, humbleness of it. 
you know, uh, we can all get on social media because I call myself living in a fake world. We do the social social media, but I tell people <coughs> we just I'm humbled, and we have to remember we can all say, well, we, we hunted with a veteran, we we ate dinner, we bought a veteran's lunch, or, or we did this, or we can all say we did it, but did you do it from here? Chances are, if we'd have talked beforehand, I probably would have said, hey, it's hard for me to make something happen on planning something. And here it is, we didn't plan anything. No, and the it, good Lord did. Come on. Well, let me get the rest of these pigs knocked in the head, and then we're gonna get to dragon, brother. All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> Think. I think my back hurts right now, Mr. Melvin. I don't know if I'll be able to drag any of them or not. No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He said, I got it. He said, I got it. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Oh, man. Well, I just know it's going to be a muddy mess. I made a phone call a while ago. I've already got it set up to where we can take these hogs, and uh, uh, the guy's going to disperse them for us. It so. may be a muddy mess to you, but it's a pleasure to me. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, uh, a lot of good things don't come easy. And I can tell you, if you hunt, if you trap and hunt with me, it's always going to be raining or muddy. Uh, That's what your videos show. Every time. And uh, we just... It's uh, raining again. You just don't tear up nothing on the way out or while we're doing it, you know. Because I don't ever tear up anything. No, nah, <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to pull that ranger up, and what we're going to do is we'll open the gates on that side. Okay. And then we'll just haul them out that way instead right. of having to go up underneath that gate and everything. So I think we can do it that way. And I got them pocket drags, and, hey, if we fall down in the mud, we just fall down in the mud. Hey, it washes off. That's right. That's right. You can be a Christian in life and still have a good time and enjoy it. That's right. It, being a Christian doesn't knock off all the fun. It just knocks off all the sin. That's right. There was a... Probably ten times I, good Lord pulled me out of bad things in Vietnam, and you knew when he did. And if somebody came back from Vietnam and didn't love God, there's something wrong with him. Yeah. Well, you got a little hand there, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we got little gloves. Oh, okay. My hands are huge. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, about the same way. Yeah. All right, well, let's go tear them up. Got these pocket drags, too. You ever use one of them? Or no, I never have. I, what I do is I put them in the, I usually put them in the, the upper jaw of the snap, and then you can just pull them in, you know, and they're a lot easier instead of pulling them by hand. But I got to get some of this stuff broke down right here, and I pull off. So will you leave your trap here? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it today. Uh, I did. Waiting on those that one big sow to come in, four piglets run out. So I'm just gonna leave it, and if they come back in, we'll we'll catch them little piglets. But we don't have to worry about them breeding for a while. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. We're not gonna fight this mud. I'm not gonna let him fight this mud. And uh, basically, I mean, I say him, but basically, it's for me. <laughs> so. I see the biggie. I've got the grud on that one. Yeah. Can't hold it. You got it? Yes, sir. I'm going to help you break that mud suction. You got it. This is what I love. <laughs> Want to get my feet in yeah. here? I'm in good shape. There you go. 
Not bad for a 73 year old man. Shoot, better than a 43 year old man. Better than 27 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> However, I gotta get my breath. No, you're good. You're good. I'll let you hold this camera. I'll jump in there in a second. Sorry? <laughs> I'll let you hold this camera. I'll jump in there in a second. Yeah. Oh, you're good. You're good. I like when people take breaks. It gives me an opportunity to take a break. <laughs> I know you got a time limit. I'm trying to. We ain't oh, got no, no time no, no, limit. No. We're gonna take these hogs, and I got a guy that's got a, a group of people, and they handle it all. I like it. I get paid per hour. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Every hour makes a dime. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, take your time. Yeah. You know, the good thing about it, uh, David, is that this is something you enjoy doing for a living. That's right. That's right. Well, that's... How many people get to do that? It How ain't a whole lot of people, man. We, we're blessed to, to sit there and... Uh, do this and you enjoy doing it. So it does, even though it's hard work, it doesn't feel like work because you're just enjoying what you're doing. And mentally, there's a lot of people just sitting up in a cubicle somewhere and 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 miserable. When is it going to be four o'clock? Uh, yep. And then, or when is it going to be? When's my thirty years up? You know, and it's just you're just passing time and and uh, we yeah, need but, to enjoy what we people have. People don't realize when they're trying to pass time like that, they better try to enjoy that time that's right because god only give us so many years and it is what we do with our life while yes. we're here i gotta get the butt flaps on now i just want the people to know I was given mud flaps to go on my Ranger, and we were trying to figure out how to get it hooked on there, and it, well, we're just a little behind schedule, so the pigs did get covered up again with mud, but. <sighs> we tried. We tried. Talking about David being a good biblical name, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, God used people in the Bible, ordinary people, to do extraordinary things, and I'm blessed to go out and speak, you know, and carry on, and all I am is old turkey goblin pig trapper. You know, reaching millions and millions of people. Uh, not that I'm doing it. It's just God give me a platform through pig trapping. People, people trying to, they're enthused with the pig trapping, but when they get there, they at least heard the name of Jesus. If they watched the video or just listened a little bit to where we're faithful and thankful. So I'm proud of that on my end, you know, but he might take it away tomorrow. And I might be sweeping the streets, but you know that's that's God's will. Ah, Dad, he'd do that to a man like you. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Well, I mean, I'm if he was going to do it to anybody, some of the things that I've done in my life, he would have done it to me. Uh -huh. But you know what he did instead? He forgave me. He forgave me. That's right. That's right. So, well, uh, Mr. Melvin, we're gonna go feed these families. Okay. We're gonna go drop the pigs off, feed these families. David's got a plane to catch. He's headed out of country and uh so i'm gonna end it if you're okay with it i'm done all right guys. i'm waiting <laughs> all I'm right guys listening. well y'all know how it goes i appreciate you subscribe go to y'all y'all.com help a brother out y'all know how it goes y'all have a good one god bless and is always jesus loves you <laughs> that's what i was waiting on <laughs>